It is not going to be easy. Like I, I can honestly barely talk about it without getting emotional. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. And I think, you know, that's, that's as is as expected for any like first holiday. What are some holiday traditions that you are most looking forward to with uh, you and your kids this year? Um, you know, I, 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 I want to do some of the same things that, you know, I, we've always done with the kids, which is like bake cookies and, you know, decorate the tree together and, um, open, you know, one gift on Christmas Eve. But I, I need to find something that is just us that I haven't done from years previous, because, you know, that, that is what I was kind of emotional about. Cause I remember seeing the first, um, the first, uh, Christmas lights. And I, in my head, I was like, oh, shoot, you know, like here we are like, cause it's just, it, and it made me like sad. I'm like, Oh, and I was talking to Jenny Garth about it where I was just like, I don't even feel like putting up decorations cause this is going to depress me. And like, you know, I'm not with my, like, and she's like, you do it for the kids. And like, Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. Like how, so now it's like, I want to create something that's like really special for like us three that like, is like just our little special memory and, and special tradition that we do together as a, you know, family of three. So I don't know what it is yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, trying to think of it. No, definitely. And I'm sure that they will, they will love anything that you do. They really will. I mean, it's going to be difficult kind of divvying up the holidays this year. Obviously it's going to be a look a little different this year. Yeah, no, I mean, it is not going to be easy. Like I, I can honestly barely talk about it without getting emotional. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. And I think, you know, that's, that's as is as expected for any like first holiday, um, you know, and, and next year I can't even think about me not having them on Christmas Eve night. So it's like, but I'm like, okay, I'm just, instead of kind of future tripping, I'm like, okay, just take it day by day. And every day, you know, wake up with joy and wake up like, you know, remembering that, um, the kids deserve an amazing holiday and just to, just to keep, um, pushing joy. And, um, but yeah, I mean, um, definitely like this is probably going to be the hardest of the seasons to go through. Um, and I, I, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also, I'm scared of it too. Yeah. But you know, as long as I keep the focus on my kids and giving them an amazing holiday, hopefully I won't, Hopefully I won't miss the memories. Um, well, congratulations on the movie. I just watched it. It is so much fun and totally got me into the holiday spirit. Oh, yay. I know. I'm so excited now. Like just like doing these interviews. I'm like, oh, I cannot wait. Like it's going to be, it's going to be fun. And I'm glad you liked it. It's, it was so much fun to to do. And um, it was awesome to be able to, you know, be an executive producer on it and really like get my hands on it. Totally. I mean, what was it about this script and this uh, this movie specifically that really wanted that you really wanted to get involved in? So I actually um, it wasn't a script when I got it. Um, mm -hmm. It was more just like a concept. And what was really cool about that is most of the time I just, you know, get a script and I'm like, yes or no. But with this, it was like I was able to zoom with Ryan and the other producers. And, you know, I got to ask them, like, where, where are they thinking it's going to go? And then like, can I also have my say as a, you know, as a producer, like I want to be able to put, you know, what, what I would like into the movie as well. And it was just, I knew from the instant moment that we, we were zooming together, that it was going to be a great partnership. And because they listened to everything that I said, I listened to their stuff and Brian and I were really able to have this great working relationship where, you know, when we were, when Jessica Edding was writing the script and we were looking at the notes and be like, Hey, okay. Like that's not, that's not really real life. If Ryan said this to me, this is what I would say back to him. And if, if I said this to him, this is what Ryan would say back. So like, we were really able to like make it as, you know, organic as we can, but still using the formula that everyone loves for those lifetime movies. Sure. And I think that it's so interesting that you say that, or that's the creative process because I saw so many parallels between you and Sam. So that's, I mean, it kind of, uh, it definitely came through. I mean, is that, was that kind of your goal to kind of bring a little bit of yourself to this character as well? For sure. And just, you know, the, um, yeah, with the dialogue. I think the only thing that didn't wasn't me and Sam was she had no idea how to use social media. Like I, well, I obviously <laughs> live most of my life on social media, so that was kind of fun to like, you know, uh, play with that and be like, how do I do this um, story thing? Like, hey, so that was that was kind of fun to to mess with that. But yeah.